Today we're going to talk about how to create packages that your clients want to buy. But if you haven't watched the first two videos, go do that now. Like seriously, stop this video, go to the links in the description, come back and we'll see you after the intro. The last piece of the puzzle is how to put those packages together that make your clients want to book you. In the last episode, we talked about a package that has most of the things your client needs, some of the things they want. That's where I start. I call it my ideal package. So let's use wedding photography as an example, but know that it applies to all kinds of photography. This package includes the things I need them to have, like an engagement session, a big canvas, 10 hours of coverage, and it also includes some of the things I know they want to have like a second shooter, an album, and files. I write it down very specific with amounts, sizes, providers, and I price it. This is the package that I'm trying to sell in every consultation. All my sales speech revolves around it. So I gotta make sure that I'm comfortable with the price and that I'm confident in the perceived value. Then you gotta use a little psychology. Nobody likes buying the only option. They like selection, they like being in control of the decision. So you need more options there is a chance that not everybody is going to be able to afford that ideal package. So you can remove and reduce some of the options they want to have, like give them a smaller album, less coverage, low resolution files. That way they still get you as the photographer and they get the experience. But don't compromise your quality. Notice how we kept the engagement session in there? That's because I need them to have that to provide the experience that I want to give them. I don't want to meet the groom at the church. I want to be his friend and have his trust by the time we get there. So you got to put some thought into what are the things that you want them to have and the things they want to have. And this is different for all different types of photography, but it applies to all of them. Keep the entry level package somewhat close to the ideal. You want to make them feel that they can just spend a little bit more and get all the stuff that you remove. If it's too low, they may not go for it and you're just going to end up selling this other one. Then I create a package with everything every client could ever want. Two albums, a huge canvas, extra coverage. Something that they see and they really want to get. But really, it'll be out of their price range. This package is going to give them the idea that they're talking to a celebrity photographer. And maybe even that they can't afford you. And this is the one that you're going to present first. Put it at the top of your price list. The only function of this package is to make your ideal package affordable. Then I include some items a la carte. That way my clients get to see that it's better to buy the ideal package from the beginning than to try to get the entry level and then buy the rest as add-ons. I hope now you have a clear idea of how to put a price list together with packages that your clients want to buy. If you got some value out of it, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.